On this episode of the Nightcast, we go on patrol with the Pope. Officer Fairly finds the funny. So get your Metro card and let's take a ride. He was on the fucking train. He said, I hope that club got a fucking bell because I got to take his head. How you gonna go up in the club? Take shit. And what club do I have a bell? He said, I hope that club got a bell. This is crazy. Tiger. 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 Dude just said, You're not breaking any gay rules. So are gay rules easier to be broken? Like, yeah. like, Oh, you just my gay rule! <laughs> Is gay rule like jaw rule? <laughs> it's like stoop and funny. Is gay rule like jaw rule? That's like really funny, man. He's like, she, uh, yeah, I was like, no. Oh, yeah. Roger, Roger Daughtry. My nephew, brother. I know him. It's like, you guys even want each other? It's like, no. <laughs> the fire's going on. The fire's fucking just fire. And it's like, fucking white people. I think my fucking ticket says, fuck too much fucking money. Gotta go. There. I'm at a lucky bar out of my backpack. Like, Okay, he gotta go. Now, why was the man giving the kid? He said, how much for this bubble licious? You can get two bubble licious and it's pack of matches. <laughs> like, why are you giving a pack of matches? There, kid. Oh, my God, that was funny. Dude, don't you know who I am? No. I'm Chris fucking Farley. <laughs> I'm about to shoot the shot. <laughs> if I do a shot. And then I do another person with another person, it'll be a shoe. And then if I do and then if nobody likes what I'm doing, I'll be shoot the place off. And then on the news you say, he shot the place off. <laughs> 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 when I drink and I only masturbate when I'm drunk. I turned 35 this year. Wow. And it's like you 33 was great. Wasn't 33 great? 33 was pretty good for me. Yeah. Yeah. 33. Yeah. 36. Dirty sex for me too. So. Oh really? It was warm until it got cold. I was young until I got old. <laughs> and how funny do you actually think you were tonight? Were you were you on? I was at least the funniest, I'll say that much. Hey, right, this one, and you got ten bucks, but it cost you cost you nothing if you stay in Brooklyn. I mean, it cost it cost me a buck fifty both ways to get here. So I feel like that's three dollars total. I profited seven dollars to get here. But if you were in Brooklyn, it cost you nothing. Yeah, I made seven dollars coming out tonight. That's better than making nothing. Yeah, totally better than making nothing. And I think I bought you a drink, so you're on top of And you bought me a one dollar drink. That's great. <laughs> so you made eight. No, I made eight. I made seven. So you made eight. Yeah, I got no complaints at all. Thank you for this interview, sir. Yeah, you're very welcome. Does the club at Mass the drink? Why do white people always have that? I don't know why they always have the carpet master's drink. Because he has a black girl who has a carpet master's drink. And she was looking at the salon, man. <laughs> she got her drink at the salon! I think her... She, she got her drink. Her drink, her carpet will be... Her car will be shared. Yeah, there, might, there might be drinks, but there ain't no carpet. <laughs> That's funny shit. I went down on the F. I came back on the new F. The F yeah. Wall it up, wall it up, hold it up, hold it up, hands up, hands up. Hands up, hands up. God, motherfuckers reek of liquor. I got one question. Why is there always somebody brushing their teeth at the bathroom? At the bus station or the change station, there's always somebody brushing their teeth. The fuck? He's wearing that new shit. 
He's wearing a fucking bag. And it's not even fucking raining. That's all he's got on is a trash bag. Some socks. He was on bubble machine. He said, bubbles could be fucked. I fucking cracked the whip. Yeah, bubbles is a fucking stripper. He said, what does this mean, you? And listen, it goes bad. He's talking about himself. <laughs> Woo! That shit was crazy, man. They were getting ready to go off. I was in line, get my lottery ticket. You know black folks got out there, the lottery push it up. So this dude cut in front of me. I'm like, yo, man, what are you doing, cutting in line? He said, oh, oh my bad. Oh, yeah, your bad breath, not getting back in line. I can't believe I remember this. They're not titties. They're titties. They used them to tease you to get the second date. And from the start, all you want to do is fuck Titties, no, they're titties. Uh, Captain Swamp. Best for white people, uh, the storm is coming. Man, it's coming. Uh, the Kenyans, the Kenyans are on Kenyan Street. How about that? That is funny. I can kick Steve Austin's ass, right? In the dark? I'm not gonna come I can't be the guy in the fucking goddamn Hawaiian shirt there, but Steve Austin. In the door with a bionic, bionic arm, but he can't see me in the door with it. If he go, you don't have fucking infrared or uh, night vision. You know, they, they didn't know about night vision. Oscar should have hooked him up with that. That's Steve Austin shit. It ain't funny no more, but. No, no. Uh, well, when you see that shit at, at the time, time, at the time you see that shit fun. on Comedy Central, yes, sir. Uh, you hire me as a writer. At three in the morning, uh, when you're hating everybody else. <laughs> when it's some white lady saying it, because I sold it to her. <laughs>the Comedy Popo wants you to know there's a fine line between funny and stupid. Chris Freeland presents Nodcast, the podcast, is a KMA Kiss My Ass production. Don't sleep on it.